Hello everyone. Welcome to our Technique Tuesday. It is Tuesday, January 5th, 2021. Woohoo! <clears throat> oh my goodness, I hope I don't get that little frog back. Had that in my throat last time. So, how is everyone tonight? I'm doing good. It is Tuesday, and I have off of work tomorrow, so I will be in my stamping room. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Joanne. I'm trying to get my techno technology stuff uh, set up. I'm really excited tonight. There's so much going on lately. Um... I'll just chit chat while the rest of the crew jump in. I don't know if you ladies got a chance to watch um, Joanna Gaines premiere her new Magnolia table. It wasn't the actual show. She was just talking about how they how they make it. And she was talking about the fact that she is so used to having chip around and Talking to the camera and stuff was just weird for her. So I could, I can relate. I can totally relate. I am so used to, for the past 20 years, greeting you guys at the door, sitting down and chatting with you at the table is so different than sitting in a room by myself and talking to my phone. <laughs> So it is, it is different. It is different. So I totally relate to Joanna and I, I got a hugger for some of the stuff she said because she was talking about, I don't know how to start. I don't know how to finish. I, she goes, just tell me what to say and I'll say it. And it's funny because if you go back and watch some of our videos, you will see that I must say goodbye about four or five times. It is hilarious. So, oops, I have to turn my sound down. I'm sorry. Greeting you guys at the door, sitting down and chatting with you. Can you hear me? So different. Oh, technology. Oh my gosh. So, there goes one for the blooper rules. Uh, um, real. Although I don't have one, you see all my bloopers live. So, hi Nicole, hi Dawn. Ladies, we're just chit-chatting as we get warmed up. It's, um, speaking of warm, did you know that Wisconsin made the National Weather Channels? It is because of our freezing frog, uh, not frogs, oh Lord, <laughs> freezing fog. And um, that's what makes everything so phenomenally stunning looking outside. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, that is definitely gorgeous out there. And oh yeah, one other thing here. Let the celebration begin. That's it, ladies. Celebration and the new mini catalog kick off live today. I am so excited. Our stuff is so pretty. You can see all our good goodies here. Well, this isn't even, this is just a little bit of it. So tonight we will be working with the Dragonfly Garden Bundle, which you see some of that sitting here. And that all comes from the Dandy Garden Suite. This is what they call a mega suite, and the reason they call it that is because there are two bundles enclosed or part of this amazing suite. So the difference between a bundle and a suite is the suite contains everything. 
That, that has both bundles. It has the laser cut paper, the memories and more card packs, envelopes, the ladybug trinkets, the ribbons, and this one has a braided linen trim, and then your designer papers. So all of that is included in a suite. And then a bundle is the stamp set and dies or a stamp set and punch as it is on the one we're working with tonight. So that is the difference between those. And you'll find that the dandy garden is really pretty. So here's a close up. Let me just flip this page here. Here is a close up of our bundle. This is the dragonfly garden that we're going to be working with tonight. So you can also see right there that I have my blending brushes back out again because I am in love with those. So um, with the dragonfly garden comes the punch. So we'll be working with the punch tonight and the stamp set. And I love punches because they're quick and easy to work with. I love my dies, don't get me wrong, but sometimes you just want something that goes a little bit quicker than having to run it through your cut and dye, cut and emboss machine. So the three colors that I picked here tonight are Blackberry Bliss, Misty Moonlight, and Mossy Meadow, as you can see right there. My little greeting here for a true friend. I have a lot of friends who love dragonflies, and that is why I'm starting with this one tonight. I'm just going to move my bone folder over there, and then I just wanted to show you just some of the designer papers. So this isn't all of them. This is just part of it. So this one here is the one I'm going to be using tonight because the dragonflies actually punch right out of here so and then I'll show you a little tip that you can use with that and then we have this beautiful don't forget they have two sides and then this one with the beautiful and so not only does it go with the dragonfly stamps it also goes with the dandy garden stuff so it's made, this designer paper is made to go with both bundles, of course. This is so pretty. Look at that. This looks like a party waiting to happen. And dandelions always remind me of my grandpa. I don't know, because he likes dandelions. They weren't weeds to him. They were wine. <laughs> Grandpa made wine with his dandelions. And what little kid doesn't love dandelions? They all love them. They give it, pick them for us. We're using this one tonight too. And then this pretty one here, which includes all the pretty little dragonflies and the dandelions as well. And that's pretty because you could highlight just one and color that in. So, all right, I will move those off to the side. And we can get started. Okay, let's begin with um, cutting these out. These little guys right here, they also get punched out. But because they are on a little bit of an angle, so you could use this as a whole page, they didn't want to make your the dragonflies looking and flying weird. So um, we're just going to cut this. So this one will punch and that one will punch. So I want to make sure that I do not cut into those. So I'm just going to trim around this. And then this yellow one will also be able to be punched out. So I don't want to hurt anything that I can use because you never know when you're going to use those. So this one turned out really nice because it gives me a nice edge to work with. I can hang on to this. If not, I'll show you a little trick that I use. I can slide these in here and I use the eraser on my pencil to help me get that in there. 
moves it over really nice. So, or you can stick a piece of paper with a um, sticky note to it, and that will also help you hold it just like this piece is over here. Help you hold it in there. All right, so we're going to punch that one out. Ooh, there we go. There's our first dragonfly. And then while we have this one over here, I'm just going to punch out the little one as well. All right, there we go. Now we got two little butterflies. Excuse me, dragonflies. Okay. You ladies know I can't do much of anything without my wink of Stella. And nature already gives dragonflies a beautiful sheen or sparkle. I think it does. Might just be me. So I'm going to color these in. A quick brush of that wink of Stella. And I'm actually going to do the body as well. There we go. Just a little bit to jazz it up. And that's all we're jazzing tonight. So we'll set our little dragonfly. So see, you can also see that these will be able to be punched out as well. So set that off to the side. And here we go. So I'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper. I have been playing around with a couple different things here. So you'll see some sheen on there too. I am going to start with our mossy meadow. Just open that up. Grab this. And then I'm just going to tap on that and then see what we got. Want a nice soft edge. But I always start from off the paper and work my way in. I know on my last video, you saw me actually start in the middle and work my way out, but that's because we were hiding it. So this one is not going to be hid. And it is definitely okay if we have a little bit darker edge there because this is our bottom. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a grassy look. But also just want to get that nice color going. You gotta love something that you can play with it gives you all this ink and color and you don't have dirty fingers at the hand. <laughs> Even when I'm holding it later on the bottom, uh-oh, I got a little carried away there. So let's bring a little more color up in here. I'll have to show you what I did to the other one. Because that one, actually, I had a wet brush, didn't realize that it wasn't fully dried. Because I, I do right now, I'm currently washing them. Um, and it had, it was a little wet yet, so it made some really interesting background. So I'll have to share that with you. So this I'm just touching right there and bringing that in. And you can push a little harder. Blend it a little bit more. Most of the time, and I'm not press, pressing too hard at all. Oh my goodness. You guys, I'm too busy talking and not paying attention here. I'm going to have a big mess by the time I'm done. Let's just tap some of this color on down here. There we go. There's a new technique, huh? I'm getting way darker than I wanted to, but that's the fun of lives, right? We are creating together like last time, and that was fun. I like doing that. 
Now I'm going to get way dark on the bottom, which is okay because my background is actually the mossy meadow, so it'll tie all that color in. I just don't want to go this heavy with all my other colors. So let's get a move on here and go up on top here because we're going to blend a little bit of this up here in with our Misty Moonlight, which we will be going into next as soon as I get this cleaned up the way I like it. Lucky we're working with flowers because it's very organic. But when you come in off the paper and you can create this nice smooth look up here. See how that is? There we go. I'm going to just bring that. I could actually take that all the way up and do an ombre effect. That would actually be really pretty. Oh, too late now. I'm not going to change my design. Not that much. Okay, so we're going to go into Misty Moonlight. And now we're going to keep it on that soft side, hopefully. Over here. Because I'm not going to have a whole lot of room left for my... Blackberry Plus, but that's a very dark color. But because our um, butterfly is in the Blackberry Bliss, I wanted to add a little bit to that. So we're going to do this. And I got enough green in there, so this is two are going to blend really pretty together. See how that blue is coming out? A little darker. There we go. How is that looking? Can you see that? Can you see how this is turning out? It's actually looking quite pretty from over here, so I'm hoping you can see that. Blend a little bit more of this down in here. There you go. Ooh, that looks pretty nice. Now let's see if I can magically put just a hair of the Blackberry Bliss on there. I'll flip this up and over. Oh, you know what? I think I got enough on there already. Look at that. I'm going to bring this down into that blue. It's going to give us a little purple hue right there. And actually, I think that looks nice just like that with the mostly mossy meadow on there. And just that little hint of Blackberry Bliss. What do you ladies think? Beth likes the blending. What color stamp pad is the green one? That is Mossy Meadow. Not sure who asked that. And yes, the brushes are from Stampin' Up! And they are now available. They are in the catalog. Um... Let's see if I can quickly find them in here. Always go through the back first because all the 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 back is set up so you have a very quick reference. Here is your stamps. And then they have designer papers and then your um other papers, all your dies and punches and look at Blending brushes. Item number 153611. And normally it's on page 70, but um, they're $12. So they're only like $4 a piece. And they work really slick. I wash mine out, 
but I do keep them with like colors. So this will be with greens, this will be with blues, and this will be with my pinks for now. So um, who knows, by the time I'm done, I might have one for every color just because I love them so much. But don't forget to use the back of your catalog as a very quick reference. Works out really nice. So yes, and there is our Mossy Meadow. So Mossy Meadow, Blackberry Bliss, and the Misty Moonlight. And my little piece of white here is actually um, about 2 inches by 4 and 7 eighths, so... And I got a little piece of black that we're going to pop that on because we are going to take this beautiful stamp and ink this up. This is a nice, fun way um, that you can add color to your cards without actually coloring all these little flowers in. So it's really nice. I've got way more techniques um, that I'm working with with a lot of these um, with these little guys and I just want to make sure that you feel that they are definitely worth your while so I got this lined up and we're gonna press that on and hold it on for a minute Make sure that sinks in and gives you that beautiful, now look at that, almost looks like a sunset. And I love that it got dark here and like I said, it just makes it look totally organic and looks great on there. That little hue of pink and then you got a little purple in there, a little bit of that blue with the green, worked out nice. See, there are no mistakes in stamping, are there, ladies? Just opportunities to change it up or embellish it. And one lady once told me that if you don't like your card, just put glitter on it and you'll sure to fall in love with it. Okay, now make sure I get a nice even border. There we go. Flip that over. There is our background. Now I said we were going to use a little bit of this. So I got just a little piece of that. So this is actually going to go on here. And my card base is also Mossy Meadow. So that's going to go under here. And usually I do my um, white part or my card front for by five and a quarter but this is actually a little bit larger like maybe an eighth of an inch because I wanted to make sure I had enough room for my black there so that will go there and then our little greeting is going to go right in here so back with the mossy meadow this does not reflect the first one I made Similar, the layout, color changes quite a bit. And then we are going to put, for a true friend right here, there we go. And through the magic of my cell phone, oh Lord, my fingers don't work, here we go. We're going to swap that out, and I used the Subtle Embossing Folder. This is one of the 3D folders, so you saw that I stamp first, and then once you know that your greeting is dried, you can run it through the embossing machine. So, But that's a nice way of adding texture. I have texture on my other card, but it's like crazy texture. <laughs> I will show you when we are done with this one. So we will compare those two cards. And I liked the idea at first. Um, and I mean, I still like the idea, but it just needs a little improving. So I'm going to stick this down. And then on this one here, 
I want to add a little bit of that ribbon just to add some um, texture to the card. So normally I cut it and tape it and you guys know what I do. But because this is so small, I'm actually just going to um, cut this and wrap it all the way around. And we're just going to do a knot, no fancy bows. So just tie that. And my apologies that my fingers are in the way. And then we're just going to trim this off. This is a braided linen thread. So if you have the linen threads, you know how cool those are. Um, I really like it. It's the stuff I'm always wrapping around stuff. Um, but this is like three of those all braided together. So it's really got this nice texture. Again, that organic look, which is perfect with this card. And I don't have my big dimensionals. So who says you can't use your minis on a, I use whatever Sandy. And we'll put those down. And I'll pin down this last because I want to make sure it's exactly where I want it to go. How is everybody's day today? I hope you're having a good day. I hope Tuesday is good to you. It was quite slow at the Candyman, not used to that. It was like crazy busy over Christmas, and I think everybody's settled down. Yesterday was a good day. Tuesdays are just a little slow, so it's my day to dip chocolate. So if you want some beautifully hand-dipped chocolates, come on down, because I just did it this morning. All right. So this is going to go right here. So I'm going to tap this down. And how about we, I don't want that centered too much. Just want to throw it off just a little bit. You know me, I'm always kind of very precise with all this. So got to change it up a little bit. Have this little beauty right on top with a little bit of that sticking out on both sides. I think I'm a little crooked here. That is most definitely my downfall, and now I see why. Uh oh. Ooh. Ah. Uh. The joys of textured paper. Let's go a little bit easier. I think I'm a little better in alignment there. All right. Sometimes I think I overlook things, but there is our card for this evening. Super simple. All your coloring is done with your blending. And again, I'm you you're gonna create beautiful sunsets with this. And I'm this they work great with the masking technique or just like this to add color. And I promised I would show you. Oh my goodness, we almost forgot our little friend here. Oh don't want to do that. Gotta get him on there. There we go. And I am not putting his wings down because I like to fling them up a little bit. So that when my person who gets this card sees it, they can bend them back up too once they get it out of the card. So there we go. Now that brings in our pinks 
and the overall green I just like a lot better than this one. <laughs> Told you the layout was the same, but um, too much color. And that's what happens when you have a wet brush, although it does look like um, some kind of lighting effect that's going on in the skies right now. <laughs> I mean, it's that doesn't bother me that that flow there because we all know nature does that as well. But um, I use the greenery embossing folders to do this. So this side, because it's not that big, it just fits right over here. But I should have actually did this first and then stamped because you you can see that, but it just. This one looks a lot easier to read than that one does. And I just think there's too much color. I did the blue and the blue and the blue thinking that would look okay, but just kind of throws that green off in my eyes. And then I made this um, Blackberry Bliss. So I had Blackberry Bliss here and there, but I'm actually liking the overall green with just this pop of color and then our blackberry bliss dragonfly and i could have stamped him and colored him but i got my paper here so he was just as easy to punch out so that my friends is my kickoff to the new catalog i hope you enjoyed the demonstration again with the blending brushes you're when if you get them you're gonna love them um so easy to use and just don't get it wet unless you want a different type of design but they are easy and fun to use there is a little give you can see there that they do have a little give so when you're pushing that down you can give it pressure you can even you know, do this and give it a little bit more. You don't be afraid because it all comes back. And it, like I said, they do wash out. So it works really nice. And that is our dragonfly garden. And this little bundle comes with the punch. Now, don't forget that we have now entered celebration so not only do you have the new catalog, you should have this catalog. And I know that some of you are just getting your catalogs now. Some got them a couple days ago. A um, couple of you got yours today. If you don't have it by Saturday, I have off of work on Saturday. If you want to stop over and pick one up or both of them actually, um, go right ahead. If you... Um, if it comes in the mail after that, give it to a friend. That's fine with me. Just, just pass on the happiness. The celebration catalog shows you all the free goodies that you can receive with every $50. So they also have items in here. So here's what I like. They show you what the product is and then they give you quite a few samples. And if you look, little tips. So they're cutting out their little pretty flowers here right from that designer paper. So isn't that a cute idea? And then here's the donkey. He's quite the hit. If you go on Pinterest, you're going to see a ton, a ton of projects with that little donkey. I've seen quite a few of them kicking 2020 out of here. So that was cute. Um... The So Ombre Designer Paper, for all my paper lovers out there, this is gorgeous. And you will see me working with this. Um, there's the Happy Birthday set. I'm a paper freak, so don't be surprised if I don't have all these papers. To me, it just makes card making so much easier. Here is a beautiful stamp set called Heal Your Heart. And this one's also free with $50 purchase. And it says, we're in this together. Or it's a sympathy for sorry for your loss. Or just say thank you. 
So very pretty, a little flower, a little corner bouquet. I've seen a lot done with that. This one's pretty if you um, emboss it in white and then use your blending brushes to put color all around it and then clean that off. Stunning. Stunning. And here's one of my favorite papers. Uh, this is one of the first ones I've got. The Flower and Field Designer Paper. If you go on my website or if you go on my blog, you're going to see quite a few little samples made out of those. I have two right here. This is when I was showcasing the Curvy Bundle, which is in this catalog. So you can't get the Christmas part anymore. That's gone. But the curvy part is still in there. So, and look at how cute those are. It goes really good together. Love these papers. These are so fun. Also $50. And then they have special items that you can get with a hundred. So let's say you did a workshop or a party of your own for a hundred and fifty or two hundred dollars. You could get this one without your hundred dollar purchase, and then you could pick out a second one for your other fifty dollars, or you can pick out three at fifty. So you can play however you want with this. This is a bundle. This is the beautiful paper, the Berry Blessing Stamp Set, and the Berry Delightful Designer Series Paper. Those are a bundle, and you can get them for free with a $100 purchase. Again, here is all the um, ideas for you, and I've seen quite a few of those on Pinterest as well. So, in the back of the book, it tells you... Um, how you can earn, well, this is earning. You can host a party. You can be your own hostess. And if you hit $300, you can get the host set for free. This is called Party Punch. So it coordinates with our double oval punch and our heart punch pack and the rectangular postage stamp punch. So it was made specifically to go with all those punches. And this little part here tells you how much you can earn free. If you hit that 300, you will get you will get hostess benefits. You will get celebration stamp sets and you will get this free. So you will get over $30 worth of freebies with the $300 party. Plus you can pick out six of the $50 ones or you can pick out $100. You can get the, let's say you like the berries. You can get that with your 100 and then you still have four more $50 ones. So if you have any questions about how celebration works, please let me know and I will help you get through this. Um, I have a lot of ladies who like to wait for celebration to host their own parties or you guys have seen my online parties. I'll be having one soon as a kickoff party, but you can also invite your own friends and have your own party. I will host it for you. We'll have games and everything else. And then the join part of celebration is you pay $99 for your starter kit. You still choose $125, even though you only pay $99. And then you are going to get five six by six stacks of our newest designer series paper. So you will get all this designer series paper with your starter kit. So it's a good way for new people to kick off um, their stamping adventures. And you don't have to do parties or workshops. You just have to keep yourself active and enjoy the 25, 20 to 20 percent. I can't even talk 20 to 25 percent discount. I can show you how to hit the 25. So 
Anyhow, ladies, that's celebration. Here's the new catalog. They're both active today. So if you have questions, you let me know and I will help you out. If you are interested in hosting an online party or a book party, let me know. I can get you started. And um, there's my cards for tonight with our blending brushes again. So I thank you so much for joining me. I'm glad that the 6.30 doesn't um, interrupt anybody too much. And I'm thrilled that it's celebration. And I want to celebrate it with you. So watch this page for announcements. And don't be surprised if you see pop-up um, little demos or stampin' tips. But I'm also going to host that big kickoff party, and I have a line of classes coming up. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you so very much for joining me this evening, and I appreciate your company, and have a wonderful evening. And I just see your message, Dawn. And yes, I hope you can stop over tomorrow too. Again, ladies, if your catalogs are not getting to you, please let me know. I have some extra ones here and I will give you a catalog. I want them in your hands because I like them in mine. So have a great night. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.